Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am gonna show you how to compile and execute OpenMP and MPI based C and C++ programs in Microsoft Windows with the help of MinJW64 compiler. So these are some of the previous attempts or these are some of the ways uh, that are present in the internet through which we can compile and execute MPI programs. Some of them are using CMake, WSL that is Windows subsystem for Linux, virtual environment that includes Hyper-V or VirtualBox, Sigwin builds, MPI-CH, OpenMPI, Intel MPI and MSMPI. These are some of the MPI implementations and with the help of Visual Studio. So now in this video I am going to show you how to uh, compile and execute programs without these help of these six with the help of these three only Visual Studio Code, MinJW64 and MSMPI. So these are the issues that I am gonna try to solve with the help of this video. These are some of the resources that helped me to land me with this video. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let us start. Open your favorite browser and search for minjw-w64.org. Go click on downloads and scroll to minjw-w64 downloads and click on installation by sourceforge. It will redirect to sourceforge.net and the download will automatically start. But this exe file is of no use because there are some new errors that are being shown while installation. So cancel the installation and wait for this to redirect to thank you page. So after it redirects to thank you page, uh, remove the post download from the URL and click enter. You can see the home page. Click on the files on the navigation bar and scroll down to see for the zip file downloads. Click on any of the zip file download according to your computer configurations. So I have already downloaded a zip file with x86-64 configuration with POS6 threads. And we have to unzip the file. The zip file is of size 50 MB but after unzipping the folder size will be approximately 500 MB. So I am going to unzip extract all the files from the zip file into a folder called minjw64 in my D drive. Let us wait for it to extract. Until then you can search for msmpi in your browser. The first link refers to the documentation of the Microsoft's MSMPI. Click on the first link and you can see MSMPI downloads. Click on the first link and it will redirect to the download page. Here you can see the detailed system requirements and installation re instructions. The instructions are just to follow the on-screen instructions. So click on download, you can see two downloads, exe and msi, click on both of them and click on next. I am not going to click on next as I already have installed both Microsoft installer and portable executable. Let us ex install msmpi after this extraction process. Yes, the, the extraction has been completed, so go to minjw64 where the installation have been done, click on the bin folder and copy the path. So this path has to be set as an environment variable in our system. So copy the path, click on search and click search for env. Click on edit the environment variables, click on environment variables. In the user variables, click on path, click on edit, click on new and paste the path. Click OK, here OK and then again OK. To test whether our environment variable has been set successfully, open command prompt and search for 
GCC space hyphen hyphen version the version of the GCC compiler that we have installed this includes a compiler for both C and C++ languages here we can see the configuration has also been printed over in the command prompt so our setting of environment variable is successfully completed now we can install microsoft mpi go to downloads and first execute the exe file double click and uh, accept the permission so click on next and accept the agreements click on next and i would like to change the installation uh, location to my d drive it already contains an msmpi folder it's an empty folder click on ok and click on next click on install it takes a while to install the um, benchmarks and some of the other important files and now this is only the not the, this is not only the required file for the installation we also have to execute the msi file this includes all the library files and the include directories the same click uh, accept the license agreement and click on next so as this is an sdk i would like to put the location as the previous location inside the msmpi itself i would like to create a new folder let me name the folder as sdk as sdk st stands for software development kit so after setting the destination folder path click on next click on install click on yes and the installation have been done click on finish and now after installation the dot msi and dot exe uh, executions will already set the environment variables for us so go to command prompt and search for set hyphen msmpi you can see that there are a five different environment variables that have already been set in our system that include 32 bit library 64 bit library the include directory the benchmarks and the binary folder so the command that we use for mpi execution is mpi exec that is a sample command that is provided as a help by the command line now the installations are already set and we are now ready to go with the execution i already have an mpi and openmp sample programs i would like to open it with vs code and let me show you how to execute them So this is an OpenMP program which calculates the matrix multiplication. The benefits of OpenMP include it is a framework that is widely used in C programming language to implement parallel programming concepts. Parallel programming is basically used for attaining faster computation times. It is very much faster when compared to serial programming. This MBI program includes a basic standard and uh, standard send and receive standard steady and ready uh, send and receive commands i would like to recommend to install this extension provided by microsoft it is not required to download the whole extension pack but only c and c++ extension is just enough this is used to configure our task.json and launch.json and many other 
properties related to C and C++. Okay, so let me delete the default .vs code folder and let me let us do the configuration so that a new .vs code folder can be created. So I would like to first execute openmp.c. I opened a new terminal and this is the normal way of doing any compilation of C program gcc-openmp.c. Here we can see that the openmp functions are the cause for the errors. So we have to include an argument called hyphen f openmp. This creates a .exe file and now we can see that it is executing. Asking for number of rows and columns for the first matrix, I would like to give a 30 and 30 and for the second matrix also the same. Here we can see uh, some random numbers are being allotted for the 30 into 30 matrix in between 1 to 10. So this is the matrix multiplication. It took only 0.001 second to compute it. When there are larger values, we can see a large difference in the time execution in between parallel and serial code. And now I would like to do the same with attach.json. Click on terminal and click on create default task and open the task.json. Here we can see the arguments that are present already by default. Here after dollar file, we can add an argument hyphen f openmp according to how we have done in the terminal and now after saving it click on click on the terminal and click on run build task so we can see that the build have been finished successfully and after finishing of build we can see an openmp.exe file has been created this is because of the hyphen o argument after execution of openmp.exe we can see that the execution of the exe file has been is been done so the matrix multiplication multiplication have been computed successfully and now i would like to remain the task.json in the similar way and switch to mpi.c here we can see the mpi.h header file has not been recognized by the rvs code so we have to click on edit include path here a UI would be open for the system C and C++ configuration editing. Here scroll down for include path. Here we, go, we have to include the path of the include directory and library directories that are pre present after the installation of msmpi. So in the command prompt we can search for set msmpi, enter the command and copy the include path. We have to maintain the same structure with a dollar and a open and close flower brackets. MSMBI include, close the flower bracket. And then we also have to include the library folder also. As the errors are now right now not being shown and the intelligence is showing the recommended So we can now proceed with without um, adding the library folder into the include path. As because all the intelligence functionalities are now working after the include, inclusion of the msmpi inc in the include path. Here you can see in .vs code there are three files that are being generated. And now let us edit task.json. I would like to show I would like to show the reference from which I have uh, learned this configuration. Go to mingiw64.org website and then search for MP, msmpi. So click on msmpi and you will be redirected to a page that describes how to configure msmpi for the mingiw64 cross compiler. Go down and you can see set compiler flags for user code. Here we can see some flags like hyphen i, hyphen l and hyphen msmpi. We also have to include the command line arguments in the similar fashion. So I am going to write hyphen i, hyphen i stands for include. So I would like to include the, mm, I would like to include msmpi hyphen include path. 
and then put a comma and copy the library if your system is running on 64 bit you can copy the msmpi underscore lib 64 if 32 then you can copy the above one click on comma click on enter and we can add one more argument hyphen l and then in the dollar with a flower brackets paste the library environment variable key and the last argument is hyphen l ms mpi after saving task.json click on mpi.exe and then we have to run the build task here you can see the build has been successfully finished and now a mpi.exe file has been created so go to a new terminal and run mpi.exe we have to execute mpi with this command mpi.exec hyphen n stands for number of and 4 stands for the number of processors that are to be included and mpi.exe is the file that has to be run so this is the output of the file this mpi program is basically a demonstration of how standard ready and synchronous send requests are made from one process to other process in this way i would like to conclude my demonstration on how to compile and execute mpi and open mp programs in vs code with the help of MinJW64 GCC compiler.